So our role here is really to facilitate and help this community that is Bluetooth. We're not making any of the products ourselves. We're rather uh, a catalyst, if you will. So here at the SIG offices, we do a lot of internal testing and development of testing tools. We take a look at different manufacturers' devices, how they're working together, uh, how we can improve the specifications based on that and the user experience. So a lot of work being done behind the scenes. Our job is to make sure that the tools are top-notch right. and continue that evolution of the technology. All right, let's see how this Bluetooth works. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to click media. Yeah. Say, please say a command. Phone. Add the device. Search for sync on your device and enter the pin provided by sync. So on my phone here, I'm going to add a new device. And the phone's going to look for the Ford sync. And there it's found it. And I'll enter the pass key that it, it tells me on the dash here. So the car is giving a pin right here. And he's entering that back into the phone. And that just makes sure that uh -huh. it's the right phone. Basic security measure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for calling the auto phone link and record of W. How may I transfer your call? Um, no transfer. I just wanted to say that we stopped by yesterday and you all were very helpful. And if you could pass that on, that would be great. Okay. Thank all right. you. Thanks very much. Bye. Cool. So pretty easy stuff. I think it sounds great. Uh, yeah, that sounded really good. Uh -huh. No problems with them uh, understanding me. And even though we're in an uh, open uh, environment here, the windows yeah. are down, the AC's on. Oh, and usually there's a caller ID display that's going to come on. Um, anything that it can do so that you're never interacting with the phone. Okay. You know, the phone's in your gym bag. It's in okay. the, you know, the back yeah, of your so you pocket. Yeah, so you don't need to touch your phone. Not at all. Okay. You know, it's cool. going to know when you get in the car. Uh, how to set things up when you get out of the car, how to tear it down. Another use case for the, the sync in a phone is to stream some audio while you're driving down the street. Okay. Do new thing. So in this case, I've downloaded a Chris Cornell song. He's a Seattle artist. Okay. No wires, no anything. No wires. Just Bluetooth. You got it. Yeah. And you download to the mobile phone the song. Right. Okay. Perfect. Right. So in this case, it's right off the Verizon network. Okay. And I'll just hit play once the phone's connected. Very and we're, cool. we're streaming right there. Yeah. It makes it really handy because I can take this now and get into any car that that's going to be cool. streaming audio. And multiple phones too. So you got Andrew it. in the back there, right. he has a really cool song. He can hook up his Bluetooth and stream the music live to my car. You got it. Very cool. You got it. Yeah. And I've always got the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's the hit maker. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Bluetooth technology. Some cool stuff they got going on. Tell me, what's new at Bluetooth? What do you guys have in the pipeline? Sure, we've got a couple things. Classic Bluetooth and yeah. stereo audio and printing and file transfer and you know all these things. You know, then we, we've extended that out to high speed for faster scenarios yeah. and then eventually streaming audio and yeah. video together. So that's what that high speed okay. channel is, is enabling us to do. And then that low energy, talking about sensors, yeah. you know, getting rid of wire, getting okay. rid of the copper, which is very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time. It's definitely Absolutely. interesting hearing all about Bluetooth. Place a call. I can just call Bill Gates. Call Bill Gates on cell or at work. Cell. So, can't really call him at work, right? You know, because you know he's retired now. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and hang up because I don't want to be bothering Bill. <laughs> and I have over a thousand contacts in, uh, on my phone. And I can call any one of them by just saying call and the person's the name. name. Okay. Yep. Call Derek Johnson. Calling Derek Johnson. There we go. Cool. <laughs> see? Hey, it works. <laughs> it works. You see? And what uh, all I did was um, I entered your uh, contact information into Outlook, you okay. know, at my, at, at my PC. It automatically syncs with my phone. My phone automatically syncs with my car. That's so right. I don't even need to think about it. Yeah. You know, it's just there when I need it. Yeah. So what will happen if I ask for Artist Sade? Let's see. Play artist Sade. Playing artist Sade. Wow. See, it understands? What's playing? Playing Crazy in Love by Beyonce from the album Dangerously in Love. Now, the new thing that they have is uh, services. Okay. And services. Which service do you want? Sports. 
sports. Say the name of a sport or say, tell me my choices. Baseball? Baseball. Seattle Mariners. Yesterday, the Mariners were defeated by the Padres 9 to 7. So what's kind of cool is I'm getting Seattle Mariners news right now when I want it. So it's news on demand. Yeah. Um, and you can get weather, sports, news. Ah, cool. a new text message. It's from me. What? Let's see what I have to say. Derek, isn't sync great? Cool. So I'm able to do all that with my hands on the wheel, yep. eyes on the road, except for a little bit yeah. of glancing. But since a message is read to me, you know, I never have to uh, look up, uh, you know, uh, away from the road more than just like you'd glance at your speedometer or your gas gauge yeah. or your mirrors. That's great. That's awesome. People understand technology. They get it. I mean, even the soccer mom group, and when you think about it, they're hanging around teenagers yeah. all the time. They knew all about Bluetooth, all about live online gaming. They, they knew all this technology stuff. But that didn't mean that when they get in a car, they want to have to go through a 15-step sequence just to do simple things. Yeah. People want to be able to do the things that they do often in a car, just super simple, one command, one click, and they just get it. Simple, easy, and intuitive. Yeah, intuitive is the key, I think.